Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to my new video. It's Hypno here. I really hope you enjoy. And in today's video, I'm gonna be playing what is in my opinion the best log bait deck for this season. I just created this deck yesterday and I have been have been performing with it super well so I figured that I'm gonna be playing it more for today. So we in the first game here against this guy and looks like he's gonna be playing some kind of sparky deck so I can go very aggressive here. He just used his arrows and I know he's not gonna be able to punish me with his kind of deck so even if he goes like for something in front of this wizard I'm easily gonna defend that so he goes for the knight I can just go for my tesla onto that and that's gonna defend everything for no damage. It wouldn't really be a good play for him to go in now that my tesla is out of cycle because i would still be able to defend with the knight goblin gang and all that and i would just get a big counter push going so even without the tesla being in cycle it wouldn't be worth it for him like to go in for a giant push and he goes for the minions i know those minions are not gonna gonna do anything i can ignore them so i just set up my knight in the back and i'll obviously obviously take the spark rocket onto the sparky just to keep my knight healthy and that way I can tank for the goblin barrel with the knight so that's gonna be quite nice and he has to use the arrows but that's not gonna fully defend the knight so okay he goes for the mini pekka last second i can go for my evo skeletons here and i don't think he can defend this if i go for my um evo knight goblin gang now because he just had to overcommit so much so there's no way he can stop this he has the evo knight right but his evo knight is gonna die to my evo knight and the gang and he has to deal with the goblin barrel. He just used his minions so now there's no way he can keep his tower and yeah that's gonna be tower down right here. So I'll just have to focus on defense from here on and I should be chilling. So if I just keep on rocketing his sparky I don't think there's a way for him to break through just because my defense with Tesla and Evo Skellies all that is overall way, way too broken. Gonna be starting to cycle my Evo Skellies and Evo Knight so I'll set them up in the back right here and I'll go for a princess in the opposite lane that will help out like defending and at the same time it will force out a spell from him and that way he can't use that much elixir on defense and no way look at that rocket. The rocket pushed his Evo Wizard into my half before the giant crossed the bridge and that way my tower killed the wizard before it could really do anything so yeah, that's going to be a clean defense right here. Very nice first game. And yeah, I feel like there's nothing he can do in this matchup if I play well. Because I have the perfect answers against everything, to be honest. So yeah, GG's right here. And I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game here against this guy. And with this deck, I feel like you don't really get any bad matchups, to be honest. Like, there's some matchups where it's hard to win, especially against Drill Tornado decks, for example. But I've played against Drill Tornado with this deck two times so far, and I've won both times, even though I feel like it's a bad matchup. So, even in the matchups where I feel like it's a bad matchup, if I play to perfection, then I can still win. So this deck has like almost no counters in the current meta. But I feel like if you're gonna face Logbait in a mirror matchup... Okay, wait, I feel like he just lost. He can't defend the barrel plus the goblins because the goblins dodge the log. So now that's gonna be so much damage. And from here on, I only need to def defend because I know in the Expo mirror matchup, I like this and not expo mirror matchup in an expo log bait matchup log bait matchup like this he's like gonna have to get an expo lock onto my tower if he wants to win the game from here because he's already um, down so much damage but the thing is if i just keep on rocketing his expo he's not never gonna get that expo lock onto my tower so yeah if i just defend well there's nothing he can do and that knight is gonna get one shot onto his tower so I'll definitely take that and I could go for the princess at the bridge right here but it would be just too obvious as you can see he goes for the tesla so I can go for my princess in the opposite lane. He will probably knight onto that and then I can go for my evil skeletons onto that just to force out another response. Interestingly he goes for the ice spirit instantly so I'll have to set up my evil knight in the middle and I don't really want to go for my rocket now because I know then he has a chance to outcycle my rocket so I will just defend this with my tesla and goblin gang. So that's gonna be quite a nice defense right here and I will still have my rocket for his next expo even if he outcycles me. I have the Evo Knight tanking for my skellies so I go for the skellies and fire spirit 
We forced out the evil archers with that, so that's very nice. I'm just gonna set up my princess in the back. I know he can fireball that, but that's completely fine by me, so I'll just rocket the expo right here and... Okay, he actually has the poison, not the fireball, so... His um, poison doesn't kill my princess, so he has to deal with the princess still, and I predict the archers with the skeletons, so... Like, my um, princess kills the archers and he still has to def defend that. So he's probably gonna Tesla in the middle now, right? So I'll go for my goblin gang. Perfect goblin gang. I'll go for the evil skeletons too, just to tank a little bit more for the Tesla. He goes for the ice spirit. Good ice spirit from him, making sure he doesn't take any more damage onto his tower. But yeah, as you see, like, he almost got no damage onto my tower. I, he actually didn't get any damage onto my tower. He just poisoned my tower and... That's all the damage that he's got so far and I'm completely fine with him poisoning my princesses because I know he's not gonna win um, with poison cycle just because I'm already up so much damage and even at the last second of the game, like at the last 5 seconds I can rocket his tower to get another almost 600 damage onto his tower so like there's no way he's gonna win by poison cycle. I'll predict um, whatever he puts because he just used his arch, uh, his knight and the log right so he wouldn't have anything really good against that kind of push, but I guess he just uses his Evo Tesla for that, so very good evolution Tesla value for him right there. But as you can see, my rocket will clean up everything, so nothing I really had to worry about. I'll just go for the Goblin Gang, and um, yeah, that's gonna clean up everything quite nicely. He still has to defend that, otherwise the Spear Goblins are gonna get a bit of chips, so he goes for the Archers, but he doesn't predict my Princess, so the Princess will get at least two shots right there, and Fire Spirit, please jump? No way, the Fire Spirit jumped, so my Princess um, got a lot of damage there, and I feel like he has to log on the left, but then I can just go for my Barrel, and I'll go for my Princess on the right again. I'll go for the Fire Spirit too, and that's probably gonna be GG's right here. Okay, unfortunately the Fire Spirit didn't tank for the Tesla. If the Fire Spirit tanked for the Tesla, then I could've gotten my um, skeletons down to tank the Tesla also. And that way the Princess would've gotten two more shots onto his tower and it would've been in rocket range. But unfortunately the Tesla hit the fire, uh, hit the Princess instead of the Fire Spirit. So I guess I, I, guess I have to defend for 30 more seconds because it's not worth it to try to go for two rockets onto his tower to finish off the game, so I'll just focus on defense for now. And the Evo Knight is gonna be putting in a lot of work right here. He could be giving up from here on because there's nothing he can do. Just gonna spam on the, on the left side because I know he's not gonna get any more offenses going, so that's gonna be GG's right here. Very nice um, second game, and I'll see you guys in the next game. We in the next game here against Shiko owns you and I know this guy plays a very weird minor wall breaker deck with the princess, minion horde and goblin gang. His deck used to run with the goblin barrel also so very cool deck that he's playing right now. I would prefer if he was running the goblin barrel because I love goblin barrel but I guess not. It's still a very cool matchup right here because I feel like both of us have very nice outplay potential. But at the same time, we have very good defense against the other person. So it's kind of like who who keeps like better track of the cycle and manages to punish the opponent better. So I'll go for the Goblin Barrel right here just to force out another response. And he goes for the Minion Horde. So I'll have to be careful here because he's definitely gonna Miner. I'll go for the Goblin Gang just to get to my Princess. And hopefully the... Okay, the Princess will shoot the Miner. So hopefully you can target onto the Minion Horde now. Okay, it doesn't, so the minion horde will actually get a lot of damage, and he logs that, but my princess will clean up his princess, so yeah, he's in the lead now, but I can go for the knight goblin barrel on the right, because he just played his log and the goblin gang, so he doesn't have any good responses against that. He has to play his knight and the princess, but the princess will die to my goblin, goblin and the goblin will chip his tower down quite nicely so just like that I'm in the lead again and I know I can like just let the knight go through because the dagger duchess tower will clean that up for no shots so he doesn't have the lock and goblin uh, he doesn't have the lock back so he will probably go for goblin gang or minion heart so I'll go for my goblin gang and we perfectly predicted the goblin gang right there I knew if he would go for goblin gang then his goblin gang would just die to my fire spirit and if he went for the minion horde and not the goblin gang, then my fire spirit would have jumped onto the minion horde and the goblin gang um, would have killed the minion horde. So 
I knew either way for what he would go right there, that would be the perfect play to get a lock or the like most amount of shots onto the tower with my princess right there. So that was a very nice play right there. And I'll have to go for my knight, otherwise his evil knight would have gotten at least two shots onto my tower. So I'll go for the goblin barrel to the side, but I'll pressure him with the goblin gang on the right side also, just to force out another response. And no shots from the goblin barrel, but that's fine, we forced out the goblin gang. I can go for my evil skeletons right here. Pretty unfortunate timing for us, because yeah, he just played his princess when I went for the evil skeletons. I guess maybe it was a prediction, but I don't really think it was a prediction from his end. If it was, well played to him for predicting the evil skeletons like that. So, okay. My princess is gonna splash his princess, which is quite nice, because now my princess only needs one more shot to kill it, and it will survive on its own. I'll go for my um, skeletons to block the princess, and he goes for the log, so I can go for my... Um, knight goblin gang plus um, goblin barrel now he's trying to go very aggressive to force me to defend just so i can't go for offense but i already went for offense while he's going in so i got one goblin barrel shot onto the tower there which kind of evens his two minor shots out that he got onto my tower so okay he goes for another minor i'll definitely catch that with my skeletons i'll go for the tesla i have to be a bit careful of the wall breakers just going for the knight to make sure nothing really happens and I'm still up 300 damage. I know that he doesn't have a big spell but at the same time I can't just focus on defense but because at some point he could get a princess lock or a minor connection and just like that he would be in the lead again. So I can't just like focus on defense. I have to get more damage also. He doesn't predict the princess so that's gonna be very nice. That's two shots from the princess actually and he has to defend the right side also. Look at the knight. It's almost full HP so he's forced to go for his own knight. That's not the best goblin gang because I can pressure him while defending and my princess will clean up basically everything. He's probably gonna log my princess if I had to guess so <laughs> that's why I went for the goblin barrel right there and that's probably okay it's not gonna be GG's yet because um yeah i can't rocket his tower yet and that was just a way too obvious lock onto my um princess to be honest because he always wants to get my princess off the board right he doesn't have a big spell to take it out and my princess wipes out his whole deck basically it's so good against the goblin gang and minion horde so that's gonna be ggs right here rocket takes the tower another very nice game and i'll see you guys for one more game ggs we in the next and final game for today against Issei and Issei was just playing 10 minutes ago against someone from my friend link so I know he's gonna be playing classic 3.0 expo right here so respect to him for actually running 3.0 expo and not like some expo pump deck and or something like that. I mean expo pump is pretty dead right now anyways because void spell just completely counters expo and pump so Expo pump is just very bad at the moment. Okay, that's gonna be two princess shots right here, which is gonna be very nice, but I don't think I can afford the fire spirit in time, so I'll just let the expo go. And I'm up in damage because of the two princess shots, even though he gets that tiny expo lock. So yeah, I always I always want to go for the skeletons or fire spirit um with my princess because I know that way I have um a good chance of getting two princess shots when he goes for the archers onto my princess or something like that. So he just fireballs my tower, which is quite interesting and not a bad play from him at all, because no matter what card he put in the bag, it wouldn't really get him any value. So now he can just focus on defense after he goes for um that fireball. So pretty good um skeletons, but okay, that was a horrible log. He just lost. He can't defend the um goblin barrel and skeletons because he just played his log and e spirit his only very good counters against the e spirit uh, against the gob against the evil skellies skellies sorry about that and yeah there's nothing he can do from here on because he's playing expo so even if he defended nothing he could do to come back the game so gg's right here not the best gameplay from Issei, i have to say but i'll definitely take it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys for the next video tomorrow bye